You know, it saddens me to see the progress we've made being reversed by Stephen McNeil's liberals. I think if the onset of worker voters' remorse could be measured, the Nova Scotia liberals would set a new record. Just weeks after they were elected, the liberals started making patronage appointments like the one to the protocol office. One word you did not hear during the NDP's time in government was patronage. And over the past few weeks, voters' remorse has likely intensified as Stephen McNeil's liberals have shown they have no regard for our nurses and health care workers and no regard for their collective bargaining rights. It's deja vu all over again. Like the savage liberals, the McNeil liberals don't respect health care workers and aren't listening to them. Stephen McNeil's failure and refusal to negotiate fairly with health care workers at Capitol is just the beginning. What's next is the Liberals' plan to amalgamate the district health authorities to bring all of the hospitals and districts under centralized control in Halifax. Not only will this reduce local involvement and local management of health care, it will throw the entire system into chaos, possibly for years. A single central health board has been tried in other provinces and failed, replacing the DHAs with a single district health authority will hurt health care workers, it will hurt patients, and it will be for nothing. Based on my experience as a health minister, I can tell you the Liberals may save a few million dollars on paper, but the costs will be much greater, both in dollars and in disruption to every part of the system. And just like the savage liberals, the McNeil liberals are headed down a path that will have negative repercussions for health care workers and patients for many years to come. And it's not only health care workers under attack. The liberals are also going after our young people, our best and our brightest. They have abolished the NDP's graduate retention rebate. Yay. This program was designed to help our young graduates get established in their careers, reduce their debts, and put down roots here in Nova Scotia. The NDP understand the challenges facing young people in our province, and we understand Nova Scotia's broader demographic challenges. Nova Scotia cannot grow if our young, skilled workers continue to move away in search of opportunities. And that's why we introduced the rebate and other measures to ensure a university or college education is accessible and to help recent grads put down roots and get established in our province. This rebate also kept international students in Nova Scotia and was one of the many ways our government promoted immigration. The NDP understands our province must grow in order to prosper. And one of the first steps is helping our young, skilled workers build a life here at home. So. So far, the Liberals have attacked health care workers and our young graduates. So who's next on their list? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it's a group that doesn't vote, at least not yet. Future generations. When the Liberals announced the changes to Efficiency Nova Scotia, they essentially announced they would rather put politics ahead of our province's future. 
This program was in place to help our province start conserving energy and reducing our impact on climate change. By helping homeowners insulate and save money, our government was helping make life more affordable now and at the same time building a greener future. Let's be clear, the Liberals have not removed the, the efficiency Nova Scotia fee. They've just allowed Nova Scotia Power to charge ratepayers directly for it. It was a sneaky move by Stephen McNeil. And as a result, a program that was showing tangible benefits for Nova Scotian families has been replaced with a scheme that has many risks. The Liberals are abandoning the progress the NDP made toward energy conservation and they're abandoning the progress the NDP made on climate change. They are showing us that they will take the easy way out because their longest time horizon is four years.